two fingers that I can play. I sliced this friggin' thing. Man. It's working on my trains and I cut my finger. It's been three days. Um, not that I'm really making videos anymore and I'm just picking this up because this stays in the air conditioned part of the house where a lot of my guitars are, uh, there's no air conditioning, so when I bring it out, the neck goes, this one kind of stays. And it only got up to about 90-something today. Now it's in the 70s. And then there's your weather forecast for today. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's turn off all the crazy stuff. I ain't doing all that. I'm just going to play what I can play with two fingers, and I'm, so I'm going to play that song that I've been working on, just the parts that I can remember. Got it? Get it? Good. Eternal Darkness. Let me start off with this, see if, what it does.
part. But I wonder if you had a show tonight. Well, when I was younger, and I didn't give a crap, I just put crazy glue on it. Beep! And then, kind of, sometimes I had to sand it. But usually just put crazy glue on cuts that I would get. And, uh, yeah, just on with the show. Bass didn't really matter. I could play bass almost anything but two fingers so uh, yeah that's it man story wise okay there is a update uh, this guy that I'm getting to do it I already told you his name Carlos he's you know thinking no we don't do this in Spanish even though what, what do you when we talk, he brings his iPhone, and I talk into it, and then he reads, and I'm, oh, and then he says something, and then I have to read. It's t it's a very long, horrifying process, but we started. So he's getting all the videos that he can, all the pictures that he can to use in this, and then, uh, yeah, that's it, and then we start. And we'll start interviews with just me. And I know nobody's going to see this. They, they, it's, <laughs> the viewers are like... Nyang, 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 nyang. But, you know, there's always the loyal 20 to 50. So, uh, if any of you that are out there that have been in any of my bands... And I call them my bands because they basically were all my bands. So Stiletto, even Kip, I don't care. Daz, you're a long ways away, but it can be done. We can film this stuff. Or we can just get interviews on the phone. Doesn't matter. Rudy, I doubt, would ever see this. But if he does, get, get in touch with me. It's not that hard. Um... Anybody in Stiletto, anybody in Trick or Treat except for Mandy, because he'll just lie the whole time. So I'll tell his story for him. And unless you want to call me, Mandy, and, you know, tell the truth, then that will, one, be good because you'll be, you know, repenting, hopefully, and telling the truth about your origins. Because he lies. This guy, Mandy Lyon, no one's really heard of him because he was chopped down. Because he screwed up. He screwed up opening for Iron Maiden on the North American Tour in 91. And I always thought it was a guitar player, but it was not the guitar player. 
The guitar player had problems, Mandy freaked, and he froze, and that's why it didn't happen. I couldn't tell from where I was. I was not that far back, but I was thinking, nah, Mandy, but you could never see Mandy. He had it because he's, he's ugly. He's an ugly boy. So he would, uh, if he didn't have all the makeup on like he did in Trick or Treat, he covered his face with the hat and his fake hair. So, you know, he told me some BS story that uh, they didn't do the tour. They did do the tour, actually, even though I knew they were cut thrown off of it. And they, they toured for, like, years, which is impossible because Tracy G and the whole band went to Dio, except for Jimmy Bain. I don't know what he did. And then uh, after Dio, that was nine years. So... And that's when Mandy left, and he moved to Kentucky and did nothing. And then came back here in, like, 99, 2000. So, see, it's a whole story that's actually more interesting than the one he tells, which is all lies. His first band was my band, Trick or Treat. So, okay, if you want to, but you got to tell the truth. Of course, Tony is going to be done by me, I guess. And his brother is welcome to do it. The one that talks to me. Um, <laughs> anybody in Fatal Attraction, because you're all alive, except for the bass player that took my spot for a couple of months. He's not. So he probably won't be included. Um, and that's it. Oh, Terrace 49, if you want. I mean, that was a band I was in, and it actually would have been a if Terrace 49, with a different name, or even that name, maybe Terror 49, I don't know, but we played, we started playing in 95, which was my cutoff year, because I, as soon as I turned 30, I was done, and I turned 30, and I was still playing in the Randy Rhodes tribute and Terrace 49, I almost said Terrence. And uh, as I was playing the last show with the Ter Terrence 49, <laughs> Terrence 49, you can look this stuff up on video. My name and put Terrence 49 at FM station, I think. But we taped that one. Because the first two shows were crap. And then this show, the guitar player, I don't know what he did, but he took a good something and he... Because he had massive stage fright, but he didn't, and he was playing good, and I'm I'm looking around, you know, and I cut my hair, because I was getting ready, so it went from, like, here to here. I felt like, I kept saying, God, I feel like Peter Chris, but, you know, I was slowly getting rid of everything, and I was, you know, 30 was it. I wasn't a millionaire, but I was changing everything, and I was getting ready to go a different direction. And they, we sounded damn good. And I'm like, why didn't this band happen 10 years ago? If we were doing this in 85, we would have been signed in a second. I mean, we weren't incredible, but compared to the bands that got signed in 85, in the mid-80s, we were just as good. We would have done just as good. Eh, I mean, we only played three shows. The first two, what first one was a, the second one was eh, third one was okay. It was pretty good. I could see the potential, and everybody was, you know, gelling and all. But I'd already set my everything was set for me. I said, unless somebody signs us tonight, I'm out, and I was. That was it. I didn't want to be one of those guys that was like. 50 and playing the whiskey and like dude playing the whiskey tonight man i gotta sell ticket no no so that's that and i don't know who sells tickets anymore anyways anybody dumb enough to do that well then you're getting ripped off because there's no hope for you <laughs> if you're playing the clubs and having to sell tickets <laughs> Then you, you're uh, quit. That's what I see. Unless you're a successful tribute band, but to me that's like you know, sloppy seconds. It's even worse.
I did it because there was no other tribute band when I put uh, Blizzard together. This was 1990-91. When the band was practicing, we played in 92. Or 90, end of 91, 92. We either played in December of 91 or March of 92. And the only other band out there that was doing anything like this was Cold Gin. And then Led Zeppelin again came. And all these bands started appearing. And I'm like, this is weird. But we were right there at the front of it. So we, you know, got booked with all these other bands. And they were great. But so was our guitarist. Singer, you know, he looked the part. But so you're getting more talk than play, huh? Sorry, but I only got two fingers. So uh, that's it. So the so the documentary is now on, and it's actually moving forward. And he says he wants to have it done this year, which is good because the other guy just sat there and you know it was, you know we were supposed to start at the beginning of summer, did we? Nope. So boop, done. And I'm like both, where I'm done unless you. Put out, <laughs> get out. Not put out, but you know, get something done. So that's it. That's the news. The uh, movie documentary about the famous Michael D. Rock legend story will be told, I guess. I hope. And the album, I uh, just got to get back with uh, the drummer. I'm not going to use his name until we're ready and uh, everything's done. But uh, the drummer and I have to start working together as soon as my back is better. My back is still jacked. I mean, it's amazing that I can do this, but I'm taking I'm taking many a medication. It doesn't make me whacked out. It's just I'm not, I'm limited. All right, and what I could do. I think. All right, so that's it for one finger. I mean, what else can I do?
Jeez. Oh, please heal, heal, heal. Alright, see you, man. <laughs> Pushing on the tone knob for this pickup, for the neck pickup. That's weird, man. Later. Thank <laughs> you.